Hello and welcome to Xenos uh, induction heating uh, version 3.0 introductory video about the FromCAD approach. Now, some time ago, uh, we released uh, a new and I would say a rather massive update uh, for Xenos called version 3.0, which included a lot of updates uh, for FromCAD approach, uh, which is one of the geometry approaches, uh, simulation creation approaches uh, in Xenos. Now, the FromCAD approach now with the new update uh, involves uh, easier movement definition, improved automatic meshing, uh, improved uh, geometry processing and geometry rolls. And in this video, I just want to quickly show you on how to use uh, the improved FromCAD approach to build your simulation. Now, right now, as the example case, we are going to build a shaft scan, spline shaft uh, scanning hardening simulation. Now we start by selecting the FromCAD approach and we click the folder icon to uh, select the CAD files that we have. So right now I have selected two CAD files, one for the inductor and one for the workpiece. Now Xenos takes a little bit of a time for reading the geometry and the next step is to create the airbox or the ambient environment around the system. So we click yes and we select the inductor terminals as the reference surfaces for airbox generation. Now, this you don't need to do manually. You can just uh, select the reference surfaces and Xenos will create the ambient environment uh, automatically. Now, right now, we need to assign the geometry roles. Basically, we just need to say to Xenos uh, which part of this is the workpiece, which is the inductor, which are the terminals, and so on and so on. And here on the right, we actually have a list of what we need to say. We start with the workpiece. So I just select the workpiece solid. I rename it as uh, workpiece and click assign workpiece. Now, uh, next I need to define the workpiece surface, which will be used to define the thermal losses. Now here uh, you can see that I can select uh, any surface of my system, but I just need all of the workpiece surfaces. So I implement, uh, I include uh, a short filter only for the workpiece surfaces, select all of them and click assign. Now you see that it is uh, easy to select uh, a lot of different surfaces uh, for the one uh, workpiece object. Now we define in the same way the inductor. We click on it, we select the inductor solid, uh, we call it the inductor and we assign it. And in the exact same way, we assign uh, one of the terminals like this and the other one in the exact same way. Now, if your system is a little bit more complicated, you can easily add some additional parts of the setup, such as flux concentrators or an additional workpiece or even more than one inductor by simply clicking down here on the plus sign, uh, which is well, called add roll and just select what you want to add and uh, yeah, supplement your system with uh, whatever you need. Uh, as for the geometry setup, this is it. So right now you don't need to do anything else. The meshing is uh, being done automatically and you can just go to the physics and fill out the physics part. Now I will just input uh, some kind of an arbitrary frequency, let's say four kilohertz. Uh, let's put, um, let's say 12 seconds of heating time uh, with a specific time step. And uh, now I wanna show you also the improved motion tab, which you can find right here. To define motion, right now uh, you don't need to do a lot. You simply need to go to the, the, to the motion tab, click create new motion, select the complex motion, type, uh, select the part you want to move. So uh, we can move both workpiece and inductor, but let's say we want to move the inductor and we select the direction in which we want to move it. So I would say uh, in the Y direction and just enter your specific uh, velocity uh, that you want to simulate. So motion tab, motion type, which part, in which direction, and with, which, and with what velocity you want to move it, and that's it. Then in addition, we quickly define the inductor. Let's uh, define the material as copper. Let's uh, input some arbitrary uh, current value and define the workpiece as well. So let's put uh, low carbon steel 1020 and enable thermal losses through the convection and radiation. And that is it. 
So right now we have fully defined the simulation and we can go on the top here, click run and after some while the simulation uh, result will be presented just like this, which you can then move around and analyze in any way you want. And that's it about how the new from CAD uh, approach looks like. Uh, as you can see, it is a lot easier uh, to set up the simulation, definitely a lot easier to set up the scanning. And in general, I hope uh, you like the new version and the new look and the new updates uh, with the from CAD approach.